I ran into a problem when I was at Dysburg State. You know, that's the young days. We still, this is 1973. So I think and is all of that stuff is gone. Uh, the funny thing is I was born in 1954, and that's when Brown versus the School Board of Topeka came out that ended it, segregation. But it was fully realized in this county in 1969. And I felt some of it in 1973 by not knowing where we were. At Dysburg, we've been in southern Illinois, and you know, you could still go and see the bullet holes in buildings up in Cairo and Carbondale and those areas. We had a, a, an activity that we loved, loved to do, and that would be go to uh, record stores. Hey, you, do you know what a record is? <laughs> <laughs> we would go to the record store and look at the vinyls. I like to play pool. So there were three of us who were going to go play pool. We were in Pulaski, Tennessee, and not knowing the history of Pulaski. There was a, it was in a horseshoe, and the pool room was in the very back of the horseshoe. So we left out the record shop went to the pool room, man, everybody playing. We stopped at the front when we went in and seemed like the balls just stopped rolling on the table. They got totally quiet. And somebody said, y'all can't come in here. And he said, what? And he used an ex a term and said, y'all can't come in here. Uh, there was three, two blacks and a white. So we went back to the record shop. And they said, what happened? They put you out? I said, no, they wouldn't let us in. And they laughed. So when we left the record shop, I said, let's go back up there and play pool. And so I got all the big guys and in front of me because I didn't want to run into one when I stopped leaving from there. And when we started up to the uh, pool room, they came out and stood across the front with the cue sticks. And in the same trip, we went around to Columbia. And Dennis, Isom, Dennis Isom and I went to uh, play. We went around the corner. The pool hall was empty. We left our motel room. And the man sitting at the door on his stool never said a word. We walked in. Picked up cue sticks, got what we want, walked to the table, late for the break. By the time got ready to break, there was a hand in front of the ball that said, uh, son, you can play, but your friend can't. And there were only two of us in there. And then he said, what? He said, you can play, but your friend can't. Then he said, hey, there are only two of us in here. It's not going to hurt anything, and I'm not going to play by myself. He said, well, the door is still there. So we left. 